I'm all night. All night. What the? F Something special then. A shade of red echoes the lipstick. Either an unconscious association, or one that she's deliberately trying to encourage. Either way, Miss Hooper has love on her mind. The fact that she's serious about him is clear from the fact she's giving him a gift at all. That always suggests long-term hopes, however forlorn. And that she's seeing him tonight is evident from her makeup and what she's wearing. Obviously, trying to compensate for the size of her mouth and breasts. acknowledges how important she is to him because she, um, well, she's very key. That's love, bitch. <laughs> this is what I said before, John. I meant it. I don't have friends. I've just got one. Thank you for being a friend. I've met someone. Lovely. What's his name? It's a woman. A woman? Yes, of course it's a woman. <laughs> you really have moved on, haven't you? Mrs. Hudson, how many times Sherlock was not my boyfriend? Live and let live. That's my motto. Listen to me. I am not gay. We know! You gave me my number. I told you my call. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me maybe. It's hard to look right at your baby. But here's my number. So call me maybe. Unwise, rather mine. Fucker, you don't know me like that. Get back, motherfucker, you don't know me like that. Geek, geek. Also, from now on, we'll be using code names. You can address me as Eagle One. And code name, been there, done that. April is currently doing that. Donna is, it happened once in a dream. Chris, code name, if I had to pick a dude. Ben is Eagle Two. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Clean. Sometimes I want to slap you on your whole face. I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. <laughs> There's something else I've been wanting to say, but before I do, I just... I want you to know that you don't have to say it back. I know you're not ready, and I don't want you to say it just because social convention dictates I that you... I love you, too. You said it. There's no denying I have feelings for you that can't be explained in any other way. I briefly considered that I had a brain parasite. <laughs> but that seems even more far-fetched. <laughs> the only conclusion was love.